Hey guys, in today's video, I want to quickly cover one very important topic, Angular.json. In new Angular 6 version, they have replaced Angular CLI.json file with Angular.json file, and it's very, very convenient. And uh, so I decided to make a new, new video of it just to show you how convenient it is and how quickly you can manage your multiple project inside one JSON file. So for example, what we have been doing in my past tutorial, as you saw, I'm working on multiple projects at the same time. So for each project, I end up installing like whole M NPM install and you know, those kind of a thing. And every time if there, when there is an update, I have to go back and make changes to it. In the new Angular 6 version, they have given a capability where you can deploy multiple projects inside one NPM install. It's very, very convenient. So this is why I decided to cover this topic. And um, I just want to quickly share my experience, like how easy it is uh, to build and manage multiple projects in your Angular JSON. So let's get started. As you can see, I have multiple projects. One is MNGIC, my website, and suppose there are a couple of other projects. So what you can do, um, first thing is, as you can see, I'm serving this app, and um, this is my app looks like. What this app is doing, is it is fetching the data from the CouchDB. So suppose I have another app, which is like my website, or you know, multiple apps. So in this, um, what you need to do, you need to come out of this directory and what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new app. I will call it like ng new and uh, I will call it like amit.io. So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put all my projects inside this. So while this is creating this, I'm going to pause my recording. Um, as you can see, dot, it doesn't like the dot .io extension. So I'll just put say amit master. Okay. So I'll wait for this new project to get created and uh, I'll resume my recording once. Uh... Okay guys, so as you can see, ng new just uh, finished creating a new project on my machine. It's called Amit Master. As you can see, there's nothing, it's, it's just like in another new project. And now if I go inside this Amit Master and if I hit an ng serve, I'm pretty sure it will, it will run a boilerplate Angular um, code here. Uh, but that's not what I want to do here, okay? So I want to do, inside the Amit master project, I want to control multiple projects. So let's do that. First step you have to do, open up your angular.json file, and as you will see, it will, uh, like you know, by default, it will you know, show you the expanded version. What you have to do, as you can see inside these projects, I'm going to collapse everything and so that you can have a very quick view what's inside this project. So as you can see, this is the one project Amit Master it created, it's the default project, and then the, your default project is Amit Master. Now, what I'm going to do here, um, I'm going to copy this, okay, and then I'm going to make two more versions of, of it, okay. Let's see. And I'm pretty sure it's going to complain because the names are same, obviously. So suppose I have two different projects. One is MNGIC and other is my website. And I will say MNGIC is my uh, default project. Now, let's go inside this MNGIC. Um, at the same time, I have these two projects, MNGIC. What I will do, I will take the source directory, copy everything from the source, and let's go back to the, my Amit master src and here I'm going to create a new folder. I will call it a src underscore mngic. Okay, and then I'm going to copy everything here. Okay. Now let's go back to Amit master, create one more folder here. So you have to create as many as folders you know for each of your projects you want to control. So this project is my website. Okay. Now let's go to my website, copy all the code from the my website, and let's go back to the Amit master, source my website, paste everything here. Okay, beautiful. So in this master app, there are three different apps. So one is the default Angular boilerplate code, other one is the MNGIC, and the, there's one more is like my website. Um, now let's go head back to the angular.json file here. Okay. 
Now in angular.json file, as you can see, I will collapse this Amit master. Let's work on this MNGIC. So as you can see, root is same. Now instead of this source root src, um, let me minimize this so you can see it better. Okay. Now, as you can see in this src mngic folder, everything is out there. So all I need to do inside this one, I have to replace this with src underscore mngic. But uh, let me just select all the src inside. Don't do a select all, replace all because you know I'm pretty sure src is used somewhere else. So um, I'm afraid that uh, uh, it may replace at more than one places where it doesn't need to be. So what I'm doing is command D, so which is slowly um, selecting all the SRC which I want to replace. Okay, now looks like that's pretty much it. Now here what I want to do SRC underscore uh, MNGIC. That's it. Now I think that's pretty much it. The next thing you have to do see that Amit master so I'm still this MNGIC folder MNGIC project configuration setting so just quickly glance through it and make sure that you know it's uh, uh, output path instead of Amit master I want to say say MNGIC okay so what else uh, what else I'm pretty sure there's one more two more settings See, when it comes to the build, here I want to say MNGIC. And then extract MNGIC. I think that's pretty much it. That's it. That's all the settings you need to do. And now I'm going to save this file, go back to my terminal window. And as you can see, it was... Uh, uh, let me kill this session. Oh, actually, I already hit the ng serve. So let's go back and see localhost 4200 is serving the default app. So whatever is in the SRC directory is serving that app. Now I have. I'm going to do. I'm going to cancel this out, and then I'm going to say ng serve. And this time I'm going to give the project name. This is an option. So now my what this is going to do. Uh, is going to look inside the angular.json file it will find that mngic project and is going to look inside this src mngic GIC directory and is going to initialize that app so this is it and you see as you can see i copied one more project so i'm going to make similar changes to this uh, like you know replace all this src to similar changes what i did for mngic and um, this way when I do the ng serve, I have the option to initiate to work on any of my projects. So suppose I'm working on my MNGIC project, all I need to do ng serve MNGIC. If I'm working on my website, next time I just need to do ng serve my website. So it's as easy as that. It's very simple. I think it's very very convenient. So this is why I decided to make this a separate video, um, and I'm going to use this a lot in my next coming video. So. Uh, let me just finish. I, I hope this finishes quickly so that I can show you that it's showing my MNGIC app or not, and then I can end this video. Uh, but I'm going to. Okay, guys, I quickly want to capture this uh, in my video here that when I hit the NG serve and I, hit, I started running that MNGIC app, I got a bunch of errors. And uh, I'm not surprised, but I wanted to capture this error and I capture this step. What's happening here? In my MNGIC app, I was I installed a lot of Angular packages like Material and Animation, which doesn't exist in the Amit Master yet. So I'm going to do, I'm going to install these missing packages, and then I will come back and um, hit that uh, ng serve for that project again. Okay, guys. So I just want to capture the last step. As you can see, I end up. Uh, updating um, all the directory path like src my website to this ssh uh, flag and what i did i installed all my missing packages i was missing all of this uh, material packages so all i did i included all of this did an NP npm install and that's it so now as you can see i'm just running this ng serve and um, uh, i give ng serve my website so that ends uh, that runs uh, this project 
and if I do an ng-serp mngic, it runs this project. So this is a very, very quick recap how you can use your Angular JSON file to work on multiple projects. I hope you like it. Stay tuned because I'm going to use this for um, uh, use this to to manage my multiple projects. Thank you.